in this box is the cheapest professional pyrography wood burning pen I could find a uh, wood burning tool I could find on Amazon. I do not need another wood burner. I have one of the most expensive ones. That's the um, digital razor, razor wood burner. I'll have a few other cheaper Amazon ones, but I bought this for this Amazon. They didn't send this to me for free to show if the cheapest wood burning pen set or whatever pliography set how good it works and it's affordable and just to show everybody that they do not need to go out and buy the most expensive tools to uh, improve their wood carving game so i'm going to pull it out of the box and we'll see what's in there so i forgot that i ordered the one that has the two burners um, i chose these ones this type here here's the name of it i'll leave a link if this is a decent wood burner i'll leave a link below um, to get this wood burner on Amazon within the uh, USA. This has, see this foam here? It's got a big grip, so you can crank these up maximum like I do. I don't suggest to do it, but, and the, it never overheats because you got the big, huge foam grip. So you got two different color tips. Now, this is good too because you can make your own tips. See the little screw there? There's a screw on each side. And if they just, you undo those screws, you just slide the wire inside there, those holes, and boom. I already put a tip in this one just to show you guys how it works. This comes with this little thing here. And there's all the tips that come with it too. So just put that on there. That just sits in that hole there. It's got a couple spring things there to put your thing in there, thing, thing, like that. So it comes with two, so you can have different tips on it. Uh, it comes with a cheap little screwdriver, a pencil, and a little pair of pliers. So this is digital, I believe. You might not be able to see the digital on the thing. You got your one, your first, your tool A, and your tool B, your on-off, and your temperature gauge. So I will get a piece of widow plug these in and um, we'll see how it works. Now, how can you really do a real review video when you, you just got it and you're just making the video and you haven't even have any, you have any, don't even have any hours on this tool yet. But I think for the price, you could basically call this a throwaway wood burner. So if this one lasts you a year, throw it away and get another one. You know, that's kind of the way the world's going with things now anyways. Even if you buy a quality tool, it's still almost like, well, not all of them, but it's like you, you get the tool and it's like after a year or something like that. After a year, it's all garbage. You throw it away and get another one. So that's kind of how I go by this. If you buy the real cheap stuff like this. I know some of you are going to be saying, yeah, but if you buy a good tool, you don't need to throw it away. It will last forever. Well, yeah, you're you're absolutely correct. but I'm talking about the cheap tools, all right? The cheap tools, not the good tools. Take that back. I said sometimes you got to throw good tools away. But take it back. The cheap ones. Sometimes people don't have $150 or $200 to get into wood burning, their wood carving projects. So buy a cheap tool for $30. It'll last you a year or two. Then at least you can still try and do the wood burning to help improve your carving game. Does that make sense? All right, so I got it plugged in. Um, here's your speed, your heat control. So that works pretty good. This is how you switch. There's a switch there from A to B. Let's turn it down for now. Um, these cables are pretty thick. Um, trust me, I've used other ones where the cables aren't so thick. These, even this here, you pull those rubber things off, and that's how you screw it in there. It's a two-point system, two-pin, sorry. So this is just rubber and that uh, covers that up. So I think it's, I think so far it's, <laughs> this was $31. I'll put a picture uh, right here of it on Amazon and I will leave a link below to get it on Amazon. So, so far, um, it seems all right. Here's your on off switch. Now it gives you some, uh, little boards with it it gave you some templates too but i threw that in the garbage it gives you your 
your instructions too. So let's see. Um, let's try that gray handle one. It gives you a whole bunch of different tips. I'm not really a pleography dude. Like I don't do much wood burning, but so far it seems like a pretty decent uh, unit for 31 American dollars. That's for sure. You would have if you do if you use this sort of thing lots. Even if it only lasts half a year, you're going to make your money back when you sell your carvings. This just really, um, using stuff like this really helps your um, small carvings out big time. Ben Studio on the lake has a good one. Just Carve Rob's got a few good ones. He's got a razor tip and he's got a cheap one from Amazon. And um, they really help your game for when you're doing small carvings like, um, for example, like this piece of basswood. Or doing fish scales or dragon scales and stuff like that. Ooh, don't burn your cords. And the cords are pretty long too. So anyways, let's put the camera in the overhead. So here is the machine itself. All your different bits and stuff like that. Gives you maybe like 20 of them, 25 or 30 of them. Put this back in there. And I'm just going to push this out of the way. Um, myself, I, uh, I go pretty hot with the burning pen. So this is low right now. It's set. Okay, so let's uh, crank it up max to see how long it takes to heat up. Oh, it's on the other side. Here we go. It's smoking. It's uh, sometimes um, so that you can see it's starting to get red. Let's give her a try on this uh, basswood. Basswood uh, burns really good. See so, yeah, how this um, this heats up really good. I put my hand behind it so you can see. And so I think this might be basswood too. They give you so you can do little. You can paint pictures with these things, right? The, the, um, Amy Joe's good at using this stuff. Liz is really good too. Hi, Liz. Discard Rob uses his wood burning pen lots. Ben's studio on the lake. He hasn't been making videos, but he has good videos about how to use a wood burning pen. So that's good. So that's that. Um, I do got some cedar here. Let's try this piece of cedar. So it's getting in there pretty deep. And these make for uh, good undercuts when you're doing smaller carvings. So as I'm uh, doing Dremel videos this year, I got this winter, I got to do a wood spirit for just Carve Rob. And after that wood spirit, I think I'm going to get into a lot more um, smaller, not maybe not this small, but smaller wood carvings. Because they're less dusty. I got to really try and um, avoid all the dust. I've been, the, it, it, it even gets in your pores and your hat. That's why I wear long sleeve shirts when I'm carving now. It even gets to your pores and your skin. But I do have a new dust collector table. All the dust gets, uh, sorry, not table, but new dust collector. That man, it sucks so much dust that. It almost sucks your hand down when you're carving, so all the dust gets sucked into here, so that's better too. So there's the side A. Now let's turn on the side B. And like I said, most people won't use this thing full blast. I, I, so far, like I'm, I'm not sponsored by these people. They did not send me one of these wood burners. Um, I'm not sponsored by anybody. Yes, I'm a Cutsall affiliate and a Starbond affiliate, but it's not like I'm getting rich and I don't want to be sponsored by anybody so I can make videos like this and show tools like this and buy tools like this for people that don't have a lot of money that want to get into wood carving and upgrade their wood carving game. So let's um, put this away. And um, there you can see it works great. How long it will work for, I don't know. But I will say the, the cables are thick. They're long. These foam handles 
are good. Yeah, they got a little bit dented in shipping. This seems solid. That Those nuts in the brass there seem good, or copper, whatever it is. Looks like brass to me. But it seems like they're pretty good to me. So I think so far, like before, like I said, I don't know how long it's going to last. But if you do not have a lot of money, stomach. If you do not have a lot of money, yeah, I think it's a pretty good bang for the buck. Myself, do I need two of these wood burners with different tips? Absolutely not. I do not. So what I'm going to do is unplug one, wrap it up, put it away. And then when this one's just not working as good, I'll throw this one away and use this one. I think it's a good gang bang for the buck. And another thing too is I'm going to buy a few people have chipped in for the Halloween uh, challenge. So I will buy one of these for one of the winners for the Halloween challenge. I can ship it to you if you're in the USA. Now, if you're anywhere else, I will just send you the value of this, which is 31 American dollars. I'll send you the money. So anybody in the USA can win this that has entered the Halloween challenge due to people chipping in. So that's it. I think it's pretty good so far.